up guys and welcome back to another tea time with Selena. Today, however, I am drinking coffee. I have been super tired lately. I guess it's because it is so dark around here at this time of year in Sweden. You just get really tired and I am putting all my faith to coffee at the moment, but that's totally fine. I am drinking tea as well, of course, but today it's coffee time. I really hope that you've had a great holiday and an amazing new start of the year. I've been spending some time with my family and just having it pretty chill. I've been out at our vacation house with my best friend Anna, just hanging out, um, and that's it. And just preparing myself for 2019, I guess. But before we start, you know the drill. I need to know what you are drinking watching this video with me. So let me know in the comments below. I'll give you a couple of seconds to um, type it down and then we'll continue the video. So I asked you actually on my Instagram uh, a couple of days ago what you wanted this video to be about. So you sent me a couple of suggestions and then I posted those and then you had to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and I finally reached a decision. So there was actually two videos that you preferred so I guess I'm gonna do the other one later and that's gonna be just talking about being a new nail tech. Uh, in the industry, giving you some tips and advice, how to build a clientele, how to start up and whatever. But that's gonna be a different video. Uh, I think probably, well, I'm not gonna promise you anything, but maybe that's gonna be the next Tea Time with Selena. But today we're gonna talk about something else. And this is probably a thing that will occur a little bit later when you have been working a while with something, or just if you're putting yourself up on social media in general. And that is how to deal with haters on social media. I've had my share of hate. I'm not gonna deny that. I've also had my shares of uh, breakdowns and having the feeling of just want to blow up the entire world. No, but really, of course it's been hard, but with growth, you also get the hate. And actually, one of my previous employers, uh, not the previous salon, but the salon before that, she told me that, you know what, Selena, it's windy at the top, but in Swedish, it's uh, like, the um, blåser på toppen. And that's pretty much just what it is. And I do have a lot of experience with it. I wouldn't consider myself to be a senzu master or whatever a karate kid hate dodger but I do have a couple of tricks and of course I want to let you know my thoughts about it and how I deal with it and what I think so let's just dig right into it first of all the sad truth is that when you expose yourself to social media the hate is gonna come with it that's just how it is I think the hardest part for me when I started out and when I started to get hate comments was that I couldn't relate because myself, I've never ever written a hate comment to anyone because I just feel like it's wrong. Like probably most people think, but there are so many people that just don't understand what they are doing when they're writing stuff. They don't think, they just act from emotion. They probably are going through something that's very tough for them and they take it out on you instead or they just feel like they aren't entitled to say whatever the frick they want and that is something for me that has been hard to accept that people don't function the way that i do when it comes to hate because i i could never write something evil or rude or mean to someone on social media i can say it to their faces no i can't <laughs> just kidding well i could but not really no i wouldn't be mean if i feel like someone has treated me wrong yeah i will let them know but i would never go out and say that a nail takes work is crap or ugly because like who am i to tell someone that their work is not good enough or whatever i mean it's art we all have different views of art we all have different preferences and stuff like that of course when it comes to the technical uh side of it yeah sure i can tell you that that is not right and it should be like this but still, it's not my right to go out and tell people how they should improve unless they ask me. You know what I mean, I'm just blabbering away. So that is the first step actually to just accept the fact that people are not like you. If you feel like me, that hate is not in your 
vocabulary like hate comments it doesn't exist and you just have to accept the fact that people are not like you and me and of course the bigger you get the more hate you get as well i didn't even know what my first hate comment was or when it was actually but i guess it was just something like ew or ugly or bleh or disgusting well i remember actually a couple of years back i started to taper well i've actually always tapered my nails because i think that it's prettier but i did that before ballerina or coughing nails was a thing so maybe four or five years ago i started posting on instagram my tapered nails but they were yeah just a little bit tapered but it was like now you would call it a ballerina but not too much they were pretty short and i posted those and another page you know those pages on instagram where they just gather a bunch of nail pictures and promote whatever it got shared on one of those pages and oh my god it was crazy people were hating on these nails like it was the plague like it was the most disgusting thing they've ever seen in their entire life and they used every single word in the dictionary to explain how extremely ugly these nails were if i can find a picture i will insert it here so you can see exactly how disgusting these nails were the funny thing now is that of course ballerina is a thing so now if you do square it's kind of like the opposite it's like eh, hey, ew square that's so old-fashioned that's like 19s nails that's another thing that you also need to accept that most people don't like changes if you do something that is different in any way if, like in art nails or just promote yourself in a different way YouTube Instagram whatever it could be if you do something different people are gonna hate on it going back to the first thing I said you just need to accept the fact that people are like that even if you feel like it's just beyond everything you believe in people out there are like that so over the years I have had to learn this the hard way I'm definitely gonna be honest with you in this video I think that in a lot of videos where people are talking about how to deal with hate it's like well you just don't deal with it ignore it you just block and move on I mean it's just crazy people blah blah, blah. I assume that a lot of you guys are very much like me i am a very emotional person i react a lot i am very sensitive and sensitive in different ways it's like uh, sensitive like i don't like the color of your shirt it's not like i'm gonna cry it's not like sensitive in that way but i think you know what i'm, I'm trying to explain here and i do take a lot of information and i store it and it's like i'm digesting information all the time and just trying to get my head around it if i can't understand it if there's a person acting in a way that i can't understand that i have to digest it for a very long time i think that probably a lot of you are gonna recognize yourself in that as well hopefully or else i am uh, very awkward and strange <laughs> going back to what i was gonna say before a lot of these people doing how to deal with hate maybe those are people that don't generally care too much about what other people think and say but i've always been one of those kind of person that cares a lot so it's been very difficult for me to deal with this it's okay to feel that way and don't feel bad because you shouldn't care you should just block and move on we are all human we have feelings we think we react of course you are gonna feel something it's okay if you are just getting into the industry or whatever you are dealing with right now and you are getting hate if you are reacting to it if you feel broken down if you feel sad that is totally fine don't feel like you are less of a person because you are reacting that's totally normal so here are a couple of things that i've learned the hard way and the most important thing of all is to not act emotionally like in an emotional state if you get a hate comment don't answer it right away there are things to do to get you to calm down and then you're gonna be in a much better state to decide whether you want to delete and block or if you want to respond to it first easy thing is just to count down from 10 but i mean it's probably gonna take more than 10 seconds but just count down leave it for a bit just let the emotions sink in and let it be or if you have a pet you can always cuddle with your little fur ball it always helps me to feel so much better of course i always cuddle with martin but i would say the best way for me to calm down 
is to give Martin a little cuddle. Another thing you can do is just vent with a friend. Just call someone, just get it all out there. I would recommend you to have a friend that you have kind of a deal with so that this friend knows that if something is going on that you can actually call them and just vent and be crazy. It's like the same thing, like if you write something down on paper and then delete it, it just feels so much better afterwards, even if you didn't send it to someone or whatever. If you just get it out of your system like that, it's gonna be so much easier to put together a real response later. Or if you prefer to play a game or something on your phone, if you like like computer games or like Nintendo, stuff like that, like I do, that's amazing. If I'm upset and then I start playing a little bit of Zelda, I get so calm in like 15 minutes. You just have to put all your focus into the game. So it's very effective. You can use like Candy Crush if you feel like that is something that will make you focus on something else. Or if you can just go to the gym, do some yoga, to sum this up, whatever works best for you to calm down. After you have calmed down and you can look at this with another perspective, you need to decide if this is rude or mean or if this is some kind of constructive criticism in this or if you can use it in any way. If it's just plain rude or mean, if someone is attacking your personal features in a mean way like your hair. As an example, those comments that were like you ugly like five-year-olds delete and block you don't want to have those people on your platforms or your social media anyway and you just need to get rid of them and remember that it's your account your Facebook your Instagram you decide what people you want to have on your platforms and in your life if you decide that this comment is some kind of constructive criticism it's not really rude mean but it's still a hate comment but you can deal with it there's some information that you can actually respond to then there are two ways of using this first way is maybe there are actually some information in this comment that you can use to get better at your work so let's say that someone comments me and say I hate the sound of this video it's so blah 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 okay so it's not really a nice way of putting it but in the same way I will consider the information I got what is it this person is trying to tell me the sound is a little bit off well then I will go and check it for my next video and see if I can tweak it in any way but then you also need to consider is it a lot of people that actually think that the sound is bad or is it just this one person maybe this person is watching from a phone with a crappy speaker then that problem goes back to that person and then there's nothing I really can do about it the second way you can actually use the information is to set an example for the rest of your followers or your clients. A lot of these comments that I get, I try to use them to my advantage and show people that I am a professional. Because if you just leave a comment like that, it's very easy for people to follow that comment and be like, hmm, yeah, I actually agree. And then they click like, 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 like. You start something that was probably not even an issue to start with. But once you get a thought into people's minds, it's just gonna go like this, gonna grow, 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 and get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you need to stop it. You need to kill it as soon as you can, but you need to call Calm down first. It's very important to address these kind of comments if you feel like there is actually something solid in it and not just a uh, ew. So I use these comments, as I said, to promote my brand, my business. So I answer them in a very professional way. I tell them my view on this issue and then people will get an instant response. So they read the first comment and then they feel like, yeah, you know what? That's actually true. I agree. But then they have my response right underneath that so they can read it right after and they're like, hmm, I get your point. No, yeah, the first person was wrong and you are right. So that's why it is so important. But you have the opportunity to actually promote your brand and your business and show how professional you are. So a lot of these comments are actually very, very useful. So you should be extremely grateful when you get them. 
Next thing to consider is, of course, who is this person? If this person is criticizing your work, one, is this person a nail tech? Is this person working with nails at all? Is this person an educator, an instructor, maybe a distributor? Does this person have any insight to the nail industry at all? all whatsoever if the answer is no then you don't have to think about it like i get this a lot like on my youtube i get so many comments all the time how thick my nails are versus how thin my nails are obviously they can't decide either my nails are too thick or they're too thin these people don't know about nail structure so these people saying that my nails are too thin they're gonna break blah 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 it's like yeah thank you because i have thinned out the tip the strength is within the nail so i actually fooled you because you think that the nails are too thin but they actually have a lot of strength in it so that's perfect then we have some people saying that yeah they're too thick they look bulky they're awful and ugly and blah, blah. okay so those people have probably gone to nail salons where they try to make the fastest set they possibly can so they're making the nails very thin they don't put any strength or structure in it they probably don't even know how so when you have only seen that of course when you have an apex on a nail it's gonna look thick it's gonna look bulky and ugly and blah. so you need to consider the source is this person an expert within your industry or is it just someone that wants to say their opinion because whatever but then actually you have another example if you are following me on my instagram you probably saw this uh, a couple of weeks back i got a comment from someone saying something very just <sighs> It was kind of mean and unnecessary actually but she commented with her real name so i looked her up and it turned out that she was actually an instructor for another nail brand and in this case i looked at her page i'm not gonna be like that but i wasn't really too intimidated either way if, if i had found out that she was a um, super talented instructor or if she was the total opposite it doesn't really matter the fact that she was an instructor kind of triggered me because you don't go around and write stuff to your colleagues within the industry like that it's just it's just unnecessary and plain mean and stupid first of all i didn't take it too hard because that was just stupid it was a stupid comment i seriously in that case couldn't have cared less but what i cared about was her position calling herself an instructor and setting it an example for other nail techs within the industry and I don't accept that. So what I did is that I actually contacted um, the brand and took some screenshots and told them that you should probably take a look at this. They responded to me and said that they would and after a while the comment was deleted. So I don't know if they spoke to her or if she saw that I was posting about this. I didn't put her real name out. I actually blurred it. I want to be the bigger person in this. In that case, I figure that just posting the comment and asking you guys what you thought about it minding you know the fact that she was an instructor that she would feel a little bad for doing that so i don't know if that was the case or if the brand actually spoke with her so that is another way to deal with it another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if people are happy if they're happy with their lives if they are focused on their own work they don't go out and post hate comments to people if your self-esteem is super low you're going through shit you feel like your life is crap and everyone else's just seems to blossom whatever then it's easier to take your frustration out on those people that you view as successful so in many cases the hate comments are actually projections of their own insecurities so if someone says that oh my god i hate your hair it could be because they are very insecure themselves and they are not very happy about their own appearance and they probably think that you are very very pretty so i would say if you decide to respond to the hate comments or constructive criticism there are a couple of things that will make you the professional one so first of all kill them with kindness this is something that i have taught my my dance students when i was a dance teacher when we were out competing and doing dance competitions i I 
was so strict with them and I told them that if someone is saying something negative about you if they're giving you a look always kill them with kindness always be the bigger person be nice be polite and this is such a cliche but don't sink down to their level keep it up here because everyone is watching it's a stage if you go down here and you use the same language or if you start critiquing that person in any way you're gonna sink down here so just keep it up here be very professional straight to the point don't blabber out too much keep it to the subject and that's it try to avoid getting into a discussion with these kind of people you will have to decide whether it's time to do that or not but try to not put any type of emotions into it at all just be very very professional but kill them with kindness the other way to go is actually to be very honest so you can respond to them and I wouldn't say put in emotions but be honest with how you felt getting that comment. Just tell them that, you know what? This comment made me feel very blah, blah, blah. I'm very sorry to hear that you feel this way about my work, blah, 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 but I put a lot of time and effort into it. So I don't know why you would consider even saying something like this to me. It's, it's a fine line, but try not to make it as emotional, but just ask. So why do you feel this way? Because this made me feel, mm -hmm. I would say always avoid going into attack mode take a step back and focus on how this made you feel this has actually worked for me so many times when people had said something stupid or mean or rude and then I've been very honest with them back I've actually had a lot of people commenting back and say oh my god no I didn't mean it like that I'm so sorry like I feel really bad right now I'm so sorry for ever posting that I was in such a emotional state I just broke my foot I don't know and I felt miserable and I took it out on you you, I'm so sorry like that has happened to me so many times just because I responded back and I was very honest and I didn't attack them back I just focused on how I read it like what I felt when I read that and also remember that hate feeds hate if you leave a bunch of hate comments on your wall or in your comments that is gonna attract more hate like people that wouldn't even consider putting out hate on social media could actually get tempted to add to that so it's very important that you address it or delete it when you have calmed down but no emotions just calm down then delete or block or respond whatever you decide to do there is of course some situations where you can't really do anything and then you just have to take it go in into Hamana mode. One example for me is when I was in uh, Susie's video, for example. I don't know if you've seen it. It's on her page, of course, Nail Career Education. I mean, that video has over a million views right now, which is crazy. And of course, of course, of course, there are gonna be people hating on me. But sadly, I was so prepared for that. Um, which is yeah sad in a way and people were commenting about my hair my teeth my accent my nail work everything they could come up with however i would say like 90 95 percent of the comments were amazing and people really loved the video but it's always like that right if you get a hundred positive ones and you get one negative you're always gonna get stuck in that negative one so for me how it works now is that i read it i react to it i let myself react to it i think about it for like five minutes and then i let it go and that is not something that has come easy that has come from a lot of experience you get tougher every time but it takes time and especially if you're like me and you're a very sensitive person it takes time and you have to let yourself react don't minimize like your feelings or feel guilt for feeling something feel whatever you are feeling and then let it go and it's not like just let it go you have to work on it so to summarize it sucks hate comments haters they suck usually it's just best to ignore it delete block get rid of it you don't want to have that negativity in your life but sometimes it is important to react and to respond but always 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 keep in mind the love around you because i think that you're probably getting more love than you are getting hate so i would love to start a discussion in the comment section let me know your stories with hate have you experienced any social media hate comments haters what was your reaction to it what do you think about it like what are your best tips and tricks to deal with those kind of things and yeah let's just 
talk about it in the comment section. Hope this video has helped you in any way, like if you are dealing with hate right now, or maybe if you are just getting into promoting yourself on social media and you maybe have that in your future. Either way, I am very happy that you watched all the way to the end and don't forget to follow me on all my other social media and I will see you in the next video. Take care, much love and bye!